Hello and welcome to a quick little guide on how to install mods for Battlefront 2. First things first, you're going to need 7-zip or WinRAR. I prefer WinRAR as you need to be able to extract some files. The first file we're going to need is going to be the Frosty Mod Manager .zip. Simply click on this to install it. Then you'll find it either in your Downloads tab for your browser or in your, or in your file manager. Go to the file location so it's easy to find right there. As for me, simply just double click it. I get this file. I just drag it or take it wherever I want to store it. For the sake of the guide, I'll drag it onto my desktop. Close this. Next step you want to do is right click this, go to show me more options, go to properties, go to accountability. And make sure this is checked. Run this program as administrator. Hit apply, then OK. Once that is done, open the manager. And it will install stuff. First, of course, hit scan for games, Battlefront 2. And it'll start installing all the assets and such for the mod manager. Once that is done, we'll be blessed with this beautiful menu right here. And right here, you guys can click the plus sign and make like a, a new pack if you want, or collection, whatever you want to call it. Um, I already made one, so we'll just use that one right here. And now we need to add a mod. So I'll put in the description, uh, Battlefront Expanded. It, it's a pretty cool mod. It adds a bunch of new stuff. Like here's a list of all the stuff it adds. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, those are credits. Basically, it adds like 71 plus heroes. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there it is. That's almost, and like, it's awesome. So, it's going to download that. So, you're going to want to go down to files, manual download, then you'll click slow download. Now, this is a 4.5 gigabyte file, so it should take 30 to 45 minutes, maybe even an hour to download this. So, just be patient. But once you have it, you'll have this exe right here. And then the manager, you want to hit add mods. Select the zip file. Hit open. And it should install the mods like so. Once it's done, it'll look like this. In the manager, click apply mods. Then click right here, apply mods. And boom. Now I'm pretty sure if you're a Steam user, from this point on, it, it should work. Um, but for us Epic users, we'll need a little something extra. We'll need the Frosty Fix. Make sure you download the Frosty Fix.exe right here. All links, again, will be in the description. And simply get the exe file, drag it in here, and make sure you close this. Close that. Save, save, bye, bye. Open the Frosty Fix. Make sure Battlefront 2 is selected. And hit click. Usually, I find global works the best. Click global. And click en enable mods globally. To give it some time to think. And so now this should say global. Not safe to close. Open Frosty, hit yes. Open says a me. Then we're going to go here and click launch. And cross our fingers, everything worked. Now you should get prompted, new installation detected, make sure you hit OK, make sure you click OK. And now it should say writing archive data. We're so close to finishing, you just gotta wait for this to do its thing. And the game should be modded at, at that point, if everything went smoothly. Almost done now. So close, so close. And just a disclaimer. Um, 
probably obviously uh, so you can't play with these mods online yet there is a group of modders working on a project called kyber v2 which will allow you to play with all these mods and more with your friends in multiplayer so something to look forward to and let's see here hopefully the mods worked and look at that you got all these modded characters don't worry about all these these are all characters too um you got a whole bunch some i don't even recognize got bo katan captain rex all these amazing guys heck yeah there's also some customization for like different classes as well like the first order we got these guys pretty cool stuff um yeah hope you guys found this guide helpful if you did please subscribe mean the world and with that i'll see you guys next time peace